All right, so welcome back to Morrowind, as I said. Let me just uh, adjust that and adjust this. And uh, I try to look online for uh, any, whatchamacallit, uh, increased brightness mods or anything like that, but I don't think there really is one. Uh, I mean, you always have uh, torches and stuff like that you can use, but uh, yeah, the game is a little dark, and it adjusts your contrast when you boot the game up, so, you know, and because I'm using a graphics extender, that means that I can't really mess around with the, uh, the settings too much, but uh, yeah. Before we start, let me just increase the volume a little bit. All right. Is it really this quiet? Damn. All right, here we go. Just increase it a little bit. So, last time we did this, last stream rather, we uh, we have done two things that are pretty significant. We have acquired a really badass sword. And we also can fly now, so, uh... Well, hang on, that was the wrong one. That was the, my bone charm, which summons a skeleton, which I just got, but... I also have this now. Oh, shit. Wrong one. My bad. And now I can just do this. And the music is really ill-filling to this, but, uh... Ascension. So there's that. There's gonna take a lot of problems down when I'm streaming Morrowind, because, or rather, in this game in general, because... Um... Yeah, uh, that means I can meet a lot of wizards that I need to do. Am I gonna do a uh, guild quest today? Uh, no, I'm just gonna do main quest for now. Uh, but, uh, alright. Speaking of main quest, let's check out what we're doing. Um, the wise women known that some Nevering prophecies have been lost, but the dissident priests of the temple studied the Ashland Nevering prophecies. And record them in books. Perhaps the lost prophecies can be found there. The Bani Mesa has asked me to go to the dissident priest, get them to show me the books, and tell me what I find there. This sounds like something to mention to Caius. Maybe he'll know what to do with the priest. Okay, so um, that led us to this quest that we're currently on, which is, of course, the spy master sent me to find a sixth house base near Narmuk. Yeah, I must kill a sixth house priest named Dagoth Garris and bring the spy master a full report on the sixth house base. But first, I need to speak to Reza Puglia, the champion for Buckmoth. She'll tell me about the patrol that found the base and how to find it. Uh, I can't remember specifically. Did I do that last time? I did, didn't I? Uh, you were about to. Uh, where are I? <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, I, I I legitimately don't remember. But I kind of know where this thing is anyway. So it's not too much of a problem, really. Um, anyway, let's see here. Uh, I guess we're about to head there anyway. Isn't it, like, right here anyway? Uh, let's see here. Uh, sixth house. There must kill six. Oh, please name on... Fort Buckmoth. Fort Buckmoth. Where's this thing? Uh, where, where was this? Yeah, I was going there. I was going there. All right. So where's Fort, Fort Buckmoth? Real quick. Is it not like north of the uh, uh, old ruin? I think so. Yeah. All right. Well, let's head over there. South of it. All right. Gotcha. So, if there's one thing I really like about Morrowind, is that there's a lot of uh, books and stuff like that describe magic items that you can actually find in the game. So it's very treasure finding -y, I guess. Yeah. I like that. And I said this on the last stream too, but I, I like when lore in games relate to something you can actually do and find. It's very immersive that way. You know. It's almost like reading really pays off. My thoughts on Skywind. Uh, wasn't Skywind... There's a lot of these weird sort of like crossover things. Like s there's um, more Oblivion and then there's Skywind. Which is the one that's like actually getting done? <laughs> that sounds a little condescending. I'm sorry, but you know how these things go. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Uh, I have a couple of spells that gets me there, but I'd rather just deal with it by doing this. It's Sky Oblivion. Oh, okay, gotcha. Hey, what's poppin'? 
Oh, okay. This is popping, apparently. Let's we'll see if I have any potions on me that I can uh, restore my... Um, fatigue here. Spell absorption, endurance, uh, fortify luck. Well, I know what I'm doing uh, when I get to uh, base. Still, still able to do it, but I'm gonna miss a lot. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Do that haircut, though. Yeah, you go down. <laughs> Alright, he had 10 gold on him, and this guy had uh, nothing. But I'm gonna take his shoes and put him there for him to remind himself that that this is a horrible world and holy shit. Alright, let me clear this out too. Oh, my acrobatics went up. Come on, come on. Who else? Oh, you're done? You're finally done? Alright. Chest. Okay. I'm gonna heal up here. There's a tendency to deplete your, your fatigue. Fatigue. I always feel weird saying that, but yes, that's how you really say it. But, um... Uh, I always feel like if, if you're gonna run around... Um... You should always know that, uh... The cost will be that you're gonna be out of breath when you're going to combat, so... I'm new to this series, what is happening? Well, I'm flying around, and now I broke my knees. Whoa. Well, as you can see, there's a giant uh, bird in the city, and now we took care of it. We're playing Morrowind. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Let's see here. Uh, so we're Margon, but that's not quite it. Uh, we need to go down to all room, but we can take the self starter there, so... Yeah, don't worry about it. The bird sound, where did I hear it before? I, I think the well, cliff racer well, sound is custom, no? That's not that's not in any other game, or library for that matter, is it? Why does fly cost no stamina? Because I have enchanted my beautiful belt. Alright, so we're gonna get to forced Fort Buckmoth, and that will lead us a little closer to the base, so. Cliff the sound is custom, but use a different source. Ah, uh, gotcha. There it is. Joel, how do you feel about the mobile game? Oh, uh, Elder Scrolls... What is it, what is it called? Legends? What is it called again? Blades. Blades. Um... I don't know, man. I don't. I, I can't really have an opinion on something that I'm never gonna check out. I, I get why Bethesda's doing it. I mean, the mobile market is a huge market, and, and undoubtedly people will pay for it. But um, I don't really play on my phone. Uh, I just don't do it. Uh, the only games I play on my phone is like a free blackjack app that I sometimes fiddle around with, but. It never feels good to play on a phone, in my opinion, and I'm all for ingenuity and people revolutionizing that, but I don't think this game is going to be that. Um, I don't know, I, 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 yes, I know Varg Boomer, but, but hear me out. Um, I really wish they could just scrap all kind of mobile gaming and instead of just put some of those resources into directing that into the real games, because that takes resources to manage all that stuff. But, again, if the games end up being good, then I'm all for it, really. Uh, but... There isn't really too many good uh, mobile games. That doesn't say that there isn't any, but... Generally, I don't know. They obviously put a lot of time and effort into it, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Uh, regardless. I really don't have an opinion. I hope it's okay, I guess. But I don't think I'll check it out, so... I don't know. Anyway, let's see here. The spy master sent me to find a signal. I don't know. Spy master full report on the six house base. For sure, I need to speak to Ray Sapulia, the champion of Fort Ray Sapulia. I haven't got all day, you know. That's on him. What was that? Let's get this over with quickly. Ulquar, it's him. Damn Ulquar. He knows what's up. It's not the towers, is it? 
it could be the towers. I, I haven't done this in a while, so no, it's definitely not this. All right. Come on, I haven't got all day, you know. All right, there she is. All right, here we go. I'm Razor Pulley, a champion of the leading garrison here at Buckmart Legion Fort. And you're Cobb Salad. Kaius Kasada sent you, didn't he? Kaius says you're the one to handle the Six House base near Gnarmuk. Yes. Only one trooper to return. He died soon after, horribly disfigured with corpus disease and out of his wits. In his ravings, he spoke of a cavern on the coast. They call it the E. It's not on our maps. Try asking locals in Gnarmuk. They fought with cultists and disfigured man beasts. Corpus monsters, I think. Is it Corpus or Corpus? Uh, I think. They fled the attackers and got lost in the caves. Then they ran into a half man creature named Dagoth Garrus. There we go. Corpus. Corp Corpus? 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 Uh, I think I'm saying it right. But I'm probably not. <laughs> Anyway, this dagger with Gary slew the rest of the patrol, but spared this one trooper. He told the trooper he was being spared, so he might tell the others that the sleeper awakes. And the sixth house is risen, and Dagoth Ur is lord, and I am his priest. And all will be one with him and in the flesh. The trooper awakened outside the caves and returned here. We couldn't recognize him, and he didn't respond to questions. Just keep rambling on like a madman until he died. Oh, man. Alright. Corpus disease, huh? I've heard this corpus, corpus, I'm gonna say corpus, it doesn't seem right to say corpus, uh, because it's corpse, you know. I've heard this corp, corpus disease before, but never seen it. The trooper's flesh was swollen and covered with growths, his bones twisted and lost their shape. He spoke to himself as if in a dream. We didn't recognize him at first, except for his clothing and armor. The fort chaplain tried spells and potions, but couldn't cure the disease. He died soon after they reached the fort. Didn't realize how fast corpus kills. It sure wasn't pretty. The troops seem shaken. I'm a little worried myself, to tell the truth. Hmm. Got a cavern, huh? This is what the dead trooper called the sea caverns where he found the Six House base. It's not on our maps, and no one has heard of it. Maybe the locals in Normo can tell you where to find it. Or you may have to search for it yourself. Alright. Hmm. What is your opinion on necromancy? In the Empire, Matis may legally purchase corpses as souls for philosophical research and may do with them as they wish in private. Fucking weird. Alright. Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Neat. Alright, so we're heading into, uh, Normook, huh? Alright, well, we can quickly do that. Is Narmok the stepbrother of Armok? I've said this before, but uh, if you're ever curious who Armok is in Dwarf Fortress, like, because the full title of Dwarf Fortress is Slaves to Armok, God of Blood, Dwarf Fortress. Um, Armok is you. <laughs> now, whenever you randomly generate a new world in Dwarf Fortress, there's always random gods and da 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 da. But the only thing that's consistent is Armok. Because Armok is the god of blood. And uh, it's the only god that is the same. And it's because it's you. Uh, this is our outright say it, but it's kind of hinted in a way. Anyway, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to all run and I'm going the wrong way, so sorry. Uh, but, you know, I played the first. Uh, Slaves to Armok game, and I gotta say, it's like shitty RuneScape. It's really shitty RuneScape, and uh, like, I had to squint playing it like, damn. This is where all this came from. But yeah, Dwarf Fortress is kind of a sequel to, to a really, really obscure game. But, uh, yeah, it's it's kind of like RuneScape. It looks like RuneScape. It doesn't really play like, like it, but, uh, yeah. Check it out yourself if you're curious. Look up the original Slave Star Mark game. It's it's quite bizarre. Alright, there we go. Let's head back. Wait, 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 We are going to Narmuk. Wait, 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 wait. Am I having a big brain moment here? Where does Narmuk? Am I confused? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm totally confusing Margon with that. 
Oh, idiot, idiota. Well, uh, uh, let's see here. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think it's we'll go to Belmore first, and Why then walk when you can ride. Yeah, uh, hang on, and then. Uh, I thought it's if Caldera is there, isn't it like here? Something? Yeah, hang on. Let me let me do this myself. Ow! My niece! I am a sleeper. One among thousands. I bring you a message. Take other calls you cop salad. And you cannot deny your lord. The sixth house is risen. And Tagoth is its glory. Well, how about I slice your words off? You know, I can probably take the boat there, but... Let me walk instead. Yeah, it's taken the years to even attempt that that dark elf voice, by the way. A voice like this. <laughs> All right. It is horrible. It is. Uh, it, it strains your voice so much. I don't. I don't even know if if the guy who who who, who is the dark elf voice guy, because he reprised his role in in, uh, in Skyrim, because he was uh, Jub. In that one uh, DLC, right? Christian Bale. No, 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 no. Shut up. <laughs> the, no, 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 no. That's not it at all. That is uh, the mining company. I think it should be over here. Oh my god, I'm flying. That's 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 what you do. That's what you do. Get through. Okay, uh, there's another dungeon I can go a bit later. A Danny Elfman. John St. John. Well, whoever he is, he's got an amazing voice. What if that's his natural voice? No, 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 no human being talks like that. It's like, uh, when, uh, br Big Brain Time, what, what is Solid Snake's voice actor? David Hayter. David Hayter's best voice performance, in my opinion, is like the first Metal Gear Solid, because it sounds like a person. And uh, at the end of Peace Walker, he sounds so rough and so fucked up. <gasps> Colonel, oh, it's like Jesus, man, drink some fucking water. All right, I might be able to see this. Hang on, it's a nano machine. Uh, I'll run. Mark gone. Kill that. Oh, what the hell? Mark gone. What the? He had a smoke to do the voice on a lot. Really? Huh. Is it here? Because if it Caldera's there. Is it here? Did I go too far? I think I went too far. Or is it perhaps more northwest? Okay, I think it's on the uh, on the very shores too. So uh, if I follow the bitter coast region here into the West Gash region, West Gash region. Okay. You can still do the Metal Gear Solid Two voice. Oh no, no. David Hayter's an incredible voice actor. But did you know that he also directed? Uh, the Giver, <laughs> the uh, the Japanese, uh, the Japanese, uh, not super, not super Sentai. Fuck, uh, what's the genre call again? Uh, he was in it. He fucking was in the movie. Tokusatsu, Tokusatsu. I, I forget what it's called. Uh, but yeah, the. Uh, the live-action adaptation of uh, the Giver, David Hayter was in, and he's kung fuing and shit. He's doing legitimate stunts and stuff. Now, if you're going into the movie expecting like Solid Snake, you're not gonna get it. But it's still fun to see like David Hayter um, act and stuff. And he, uh, didn't he like write the second X-Men too? Yeah. Well, I sincerely hope he didn't write the line where Storm shoots, uh... 
What's, what, what's, what's frog, frog guy call again? I forget. Toad, toad man? Not BUP! I'm talking, uh, m Mr. Frog. <laughs> um. That's three. No, no, that's in, in, in the first, in the first X-Men movie, there's a line where, um, Storm shoots, uh, I forget what his name is, Crazy Frog, whatever. And she goes, you know what happens to a frog when it gets hit by lightning or whatever? And he goes, what? Same thing as everything else or something like that. And it's like, is that a joke? What's the fucking joke here? Really bizarre. Hang on, I, I, need, I need to see what the fuck this line was all about. Because the more I think about it, the angrier I get. No. Do you know what happens to a toad when it's struck by lightning? The same thing that happens to everything else. Oh. I think it's funny that Storm thought of that line. <laughs> maybe in her head. Maybe she was just like me, like, Oh man, it'll be so funny! Except nobody was laughing. Okay, hang on. <sighs> Alright, there it is. Wait a minute. Normook. Where the fuck is Normook? Wait, hey, what's popping? Oh, you're pissed off? What? What have I done to you? You know what? Why? <laughs> wow. She can't stink on me. So I think I went a little too far. I can't believe I'm having so much struggle finding Narmok. It's like always on my map. Hmm. So if it's not here, all oh, runes there. I mean, I'm just going around exploring now, but. Uh, interesting. I guess it's just, a, it's just a little dark place, you know? So I should just go along the beach, really, and maybe I'll find it better. Okay, I could just go. You know what? I should have gone to cool, cool, and uh, I could have just taken the boat. I honestly should have done that from the start. But no, no, I gotta be. I gotta be. I gotta complicate the fuck out of everything. Okay, cool. She can get too lazy with with f not fast traveling, but uh, traveling around. But then again, you have the money for it, so you know. Hey. Alright. Uh, let me just clear this out. <laughs> God, I, I hate when the uh, the little, like, local fauna uses Paralyze on you. It's the most awkward stuff. You're standing here doing nothing, you know? Like, uh, Alright. Uh, let's see here. That's certainly not it, but we can check out what this place is anyway. Well, hang on, wait, did I accidentally find it? No. I didn't accidentally find it, did I? No. Hey, we can check it out anyway! Hey, what's popping up here? Hmm. Hmm. Just uh, carefully go through here and everything seems to be going fine in here. Hey! <laughs> okay, we're we're not oh, we're not supposed to be here. Um but hey, at least I got this marked on the map in case I want to go back and and redo this uh, this stuff. But uh, we need to find Narmok here, and uh, I'm so fucking lazy. I'm about to do something really silly, something incredibly lazy. I'm about to do this. Yes, I know. 
it's like, dude, why did you waste that on that? Well, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why here in a second. <laughs> Watch this. It'll be literally fast out of me getting confused and doing this. If I go to cool like and then I take the fucking boat, it'll literally be faster. I I, I promise you. Uh, where do they keep the boat? There's the boat. Am I going to become a werewolf? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. That, that ain't it. This is it. That's what I'm talking about. Meow, meow. Oh, it is foggy today, huh? Alright, I guess we'll ask some of the locals. Hey, what about you, Angelos? Yo, Narmok, go ahead. You ask the question, and I'll do the answering. Hey, do you know about the... Concerning this, I can only speak to a friend. Well, here you go, you, you, you dumb fuck. Here's ten gold. I don't think so. That's not going to do it. This is supposed to be a gift. If so, it does not please me. Yo, don't bother me. Oh, okay. Oh, this is too easy. <laughs> Ow! Okay, I can't see a damn thing. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go Talk to her instead. Ten gold. Is that all you think I'm worth? No, no, come on. It's ten more. You're too kind, Cobbsell. I can't refuse such a friendly gesture. Okay, well. <sighs> Fine, you, you know what? Give, give hundred. Hundred gold. But that's that's my last offer. You know the caverns. That's what they call the old sea cave up the north end of the island. Right on the Cartag Point. Don't be poking your nose in there. Someone might object. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's on the western coast. Not far from here. It's a gigantic boulder. Some of the orcs consider it a landmark. Well, I don't know. Some orc on another jumped off on a dare. It didn't end well. Oh. So, north end of the island, huh? Well, I'll tell you what, we should wait a little bit before we do that because there's a heavy fog outside right now and I probably can't find squat. So. Can we hurry along? No. Let me, uh. Let me just, uh. Wait in your little crack shack here. How are you doing anyway? This is Normook. We don't get a lot of visitors here. Don't like visitors much. Or people will ask a lot of questions, but if you're looking for someone in particular, or for services or some specific place, then I'll tell you what I know. If you promise to go away and leave me alone. There's someone watching me. I can tell. Observant. My patience is limited. No, must resist murder. Okay, um... Uh, so that's Cartag point up there. Um, I really don't have time for this, so make it quick. <sighs> listen, listen, I'm gonna put you out of your misery, all right? I take that neck beard, fucking hair by hair, and I re glue it on someone who needs it. All right. It's a car tag point on. Huh? Should be around here. Oh my god, slaughterfish. Did I already show you guys the uh, the horrible sea life in, in Morrowind? I mean, beside the slaughterfish. The, what do they call the, uh, not the, uh, obviously the slaughterfish, but the Drew. Oh my god, the Drew are horrifying. I don't think they spawn around this area, but they are fucked. They're disgusting. Like, maybe I can find some here, but. Uh, if I can also swim to Cortag Point. Look at me swimming. Look at my little boots under. <gasps> there it is! There it is! There's a Drew! Drew carry. Look at that fucking thing! It's a merman! And holy shitballs, ah! 
Don't like that. Ow. Ow. Nope. I've had enough. No, please. Please. For love of God. <laughs> oh, fuck. I forgot about my potions. Oh, damn it. That oh, might bite, bite, bite me in the ass here. Shit, I might have to go back here. Oh, god damn it. Uh, uh, it's not too much of a deal. Enjoy Vardenfell's beautiful scenic views and murderous crab men trying to rip out your anus. Huh? Ever thought of playing Deus Ex? Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. There, there's, there's some really funny shit in Deus Ex that, that just generally cracked me up when I first played it. Um, first time I ever played Deus Ex, uh, it's that, I think it's the first mission where you gotta... You gotta go into uh, Statue of Liberty underneath it. No, 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 that's, that, that, no, I'm not thinking of the same thing. Um, it's that thing where it's like you gotta go in and find the password to a door and kick some ass. And the fucking password is 666 to the keypad door. And I put that in as a joke, as in like, ha ha ha. And it fucking worked. I'm like, what? Okay. Quickly, Outlander, or go away. I did the exact same thing. It's like putting 420 or other like meme numbers, so. Um. Uh, rest of the enemies nearby. Alright, well, tell, is there any shops nearby that I can probably get a few potions from here? Right. Uh, you a fan of human revolution? Uh, yeah, kinda, but I, I, I had some problems with it playing it. I, I don't know why, it just, I know it's a really, uh, it's a really critically acclaimed game, but I didn't really feel the Deus Ex vibe from it. I mean, it felt really good on its own, but uh, I don't know. I, I I just didn't really feel. Yeah, it's a little different, but it's great game, great game. But I'm like, oh man, Deus Ex Two <sighs> was Invisible War, by the I way. I don't have a lot of but, uh, questions, yeah. Outlander. It's just something about that like dystopian shit quality that the original had was kind of lost in Human Revolution. Human Revolution felt like, okay, this actually feels like the future in a way, even though it's kind of a very bleak future, but, you know. Drop dead or find me I do not wish to be bothered. Hey, don't drop your corpse in my, my house, please. Alright, so there's nothing I can do in here. But Whatever hey, I can talk to uh, Andilo. Sure Challenges, what's this? Whoever's great in Challenger, it's mutual, hostile, Cultures, cruel and untamed wilderness, and troubling phenomena of the blight. Uh, the temple and traditional Dahmer culture are in, in direct opposition to the vows of the imperial conquerors and colonists, in the interest of each great house conflict with the interest of the other great houses. While the imperial leaders and the duke's shrewd politics prevent political disputes from expanding into civil unrest or warfare. Damn, I, that that's. I just wanted to like ask about the weather, and I, I get a history lesson. Whoa, 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 whoa! Where the fuck are you? I died, and that thing died. The Netch died like this. <laughs> and he's just like, okay, done. Hit the road. Nobody likes me, Narmuk. You You're all mean. Alright, well, we know where Narmuk is now. I get, you know, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be real lazy, because, again, we have uh, 9,400 and... Uh, what was it? 13 gold? Uh, that means I can be a little frivolous my with my spending, so I'm gonna go back... Quick. To cool and get my potions, so I need to get ready for my dungeon exploration. You got killed by a Metroid. Look at mischief makers. 
Alright, let's see here. Oh, you know, I don't think that cool has too many, uh, shops or anything like that. Nah, no, I don't think cool has any anything of value here. I mean, we have a little bit of a... No, we do have a trade house we can check out. Yo, what's up? What's up, Thong... Gar? <laughs> I'm not gonna buy that skooma from you. Get rid of it and then we can trade. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There, I disposed of my drugs. <laughs> Alright. Oh, shit, it doesn't have too much. Well, hey, w yes, it does. Restore your health. Potion resists. Uh, I'll take. I'll take what you have. All right, there we go. Are you selling anything by any chance? No. What about you, Undi? Oh, she's a trainer. All right. Anything else you got that I can use? Oh wait, you have more stuff. Wait a minute. Did I just stumble upon some shenanigans here? I sure did. I sure did. Okay, well, uh... I forgot this game is like this sometimes. Interesting. Now I can just get a million... MILLION potions by doing this. Is this game made... I don't remember the game being like this. I thought it was like, if you buy wares... It takes them 24 hours to regain their wares or whatever, but... What the fuck? Am I... Uh, am I remembering things wrong? I mean, good, good, good for me for finding this, I guess. But <laughs> you activated the rare wares, only certain things. Oh, okay. Let me get a couple more. This doesn't make any sense. He's just like pulling out more and more. It's like, oh, I have some more for you. Okay, that should be enough. God damn it. You like to dance close to the fire, don't you? Yes. All right. Uh, you know what? I he's a fucking shopkeeper. I can sell this shit right now. In fact, Mark Gold does have fifteen hundred. All right. Well, I'm gonna sell him my uh, my war axe. My what else? This war and battle axe. And you better believe I'm not selling it for that little. I'm gonna sell it for 550. Not that I really need money, but I just need to pawn some stuff off. You know. There we go. I got a manual click. I don't know why it's like that, but alright. Alright, there we go. Hey, can I sleep in the bed here? What what my crime has been reported? Well fuck you! No 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 no. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna save with my bounty here. How dare you sleep in my bed! Crime boy. I'm a bad boy now. He tried to take a nap on my bed and now he's floating. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. I forgot about my delicious, delicious, delicious drug. Let me just, uh... You know, even though, even though, I think Morrowind is the better game, there's a certain weirdness about Oblivion that makes it extremely comforting to play in a way. Like, it feels you're playing a, a dumb cartoon. I mean, you can argue that this, this game is a dumb cartoon too, but it doesn't feel the same, you know what I mean? Watch out, Metroid. Oh. You have kill a breeding net. I haven't I didn't do shit. You did it. Do you want something? Yes, I want redemption. Clear my name. Alright. I'm gonna go out in the wilderness a little bit. And then I can rock and roll once again now. Alright. Uh, now we're talking. Let's see. Hey, are you thinking about doing the Mor Mornhold Alchemy Explode later for shits and giggles? Maybe, maybe. I, I said this before, but there's a ton of, of fun exploits that Morrowind has. And uh, you really gotta limit yourself when it comes to these cheats. Or cheats, exploits, I don't know what you wanna call them. 
but they're they're pretty much cheats, you know. Like boots of blinding speed, you could argue that I've cheated already, but I haven't used console once in this. But there's a lot of things you can do to kind of like, well, yeah, do stuff in the game. Uh, but there's an alchemy exploit along with magic exploits. There's a ton of exploits you can do in this game, and you really gotta again limit yourself, or else it might become too easy. If there's one thing I never liked in the Elder Scrolls games, it's the uh, difficulty slider. I've always thought that was the stupidest thing. I always felt like never touch the difficulty slider. Keep it at normal. All right. I, I get getting. You want a more of a challenge, but I don't know. I used to use the difficulty slider in uh, in Oblivion when I felt the game was getting a little too hard. So I just took it down to like cheese it. I mean, uh. Totally, legitimately beat. Smiley face. Alright, here we go. We're in. We're to turn a little spooky, everybody. Real fucking spooky. Oh, lord. Oh, hey, dude, how you going? Oh shit, I've got Wither. Uh-oh. Well, thank fucking god I have uh, Regain Strength, right? Or Regain Endurance. Uh, well, hang on, hang on. I got Wither, which is a common disease, I think, which means that I can probably restore this uh, with my potion. Or am I talking crap? Is it a common disease, this thing? Yes. Okay, thank god I had that on me. Am I playing with mods? No, 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 this is just the, the base game with... Uh, uh, some vanilla stuff and... Uh, this is Iron Viper Skewer. And I have graphics instead, so that means I can see a little farther in the game, but... Uh, overall, it's pretty much the vanilla experience. Okay, I'm gonna give a little spoilers for people that don't know this yet. This uh, this game is about to turn really wild. Because, uh, spoilers. <laughs> you're watching the stream anyway. Uh, the character is going to get infected with corpus disease. Holy shit, that hurts. And he's, he's, he's roller skating. Damn, I'm not hitting this guy whatsoever. I want to get infected with corpus disease, which makes me into a zombie, essentially. But, hear me out. With this disease, it's uncurable. And everybody's gonna be like, holy shit, you're disgusting, get away from me, I'm gonna get it too. So you have to seek out this old wizard that lives in a giant mushroom, and he's gonna help you out. And, uh... Spoilers. The fun part is that this wizard is crazy. And his cure for this, uh... This, uh, this corpus disease might make you invincible, or like, actually immortal. <laughs> and guess what happens? Well, I wouldn't say immortal, but, you know. <laughs> Alright. Hello, skeleton. How you doing? <laughs> Scream! Is that the wizard that fucks himself? Yeah. Hey, you wanna know something funny, by the way? You remember that that I mentioned that this game has some funny references and stuff? In it? Check out what this place is called. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that this is a downright reference, but... Uh... They're being a little funny with it. Boogie mean. Boogie mean. Marwin came out in 2003, so... What era was Pokemon in in 2003? That must have been, like, Ruby and Sapphire, right? Was that 2004? Yeah, I think so. The sixth house here has a base in this, this moldy cave. And they can't afford pants. Some secret club, huh?
Yeah, I'd rather not get paralyzed, please. Oh, here. oh my god. Start my fatigue a little bit. I think I bought all these potions, huh? Come on. Hit him. Come on. Ooh. He got me, friend. Alright. I gotta say, look, uh, Generation 3 of, of Pokemon really... Really, uh, for me at least, was kind of the last era of Pokemon I played. Before, like, I, I, I checked back on the series for a very long time. Um... I don't really know why. I guess I, I didn't have a, a, a DS to play. Uh, well, I did have a DS, but not when... I think I had a DS when Super Mario 64 DS came out. And then... Uh, Black and White came out, and it was kind of late, I remember. Or, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember at all, but... But Gen 3 did, did some really good stuff. Uh, I really enjoyed the double battles. I know some people hated that, but I really enjoyed the secret bases. And if there's one thing that I've always enjoyed about Gen 3, it was the the Reggie Steel, Reggie Ice, and Reggie Rock thing. I don't know about you guys, but I thought, found that like the, the craziest shit back. And I'm like, you gotta read blind scripture, you gotta find all this arbitrary shit. Wow. It's kind of spooky. Alright. I think I want here now, I really. Uh... All right, let's see here where we're we going. Um, it's also important that I check out every every place that we that we go into because uh, I've gotten lost in this cave many a times. So. No, you don't. No, you don't. Nope. Nope. Bad. So one of the effects, or I wouldn't say that the effects of uh, Corpus indirectly makes you do this, but uh, the followers of, of Dagoth are here. They turn into weird-ass magic elephants. It's some really bizarre Lovecraft stuff. And uh, we'll see it soon. How you doing? Oh, zombie. Oh, fuck! Uh, and, uh... The giant, they grow giant snouts out of their flesh. They, they, they claw out their eyes, and they have a giant uh, hole in their face, and out comes this big-ass snout. And it's it's meant to play uh, notes on, I, to sweet, sweet Dagoth Ur music. It's really Lovecraftian and, and cool-looking. Alright, hopefully we'll see one today. There's some really fantastical art done in Mario Land. Some, some of the graphics are a little limited in the game, but when you check the concept art, you can really see, like, they really try their best to transpose some of those gorgeous drawings into uh, graphics, and most of it um, was transcribed accurately, but some of the concept art just looks so gorgeous they couldn't do anything with it. Alright. Did that zombie just heal himself? Damn. Alright. Uh, don't forget about the very Lovecraftian names. Lots of use of the word Ascendant and Dreamer slash Sleeper. Yeah, um... Don't forget that Dagoth Ur himself, his name is like... Almost like Dagon. Oh, fuck! No, 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 no. Jesus! Maybe I should have contacted, like, uh, a mage skill to get some proper potions, because I'm using, like, cheapo shit. <laughs> Alright. Jesus! Battles can go such in different ways in this. Like, I know it's it's all, you know, rolling dice and all that, but... Some battles can just be, like, one-hit kill, and sometimes they can drag on for a while. I love the scamp on this. The scamp has kind of looked the same in all the other scrolls, but 
the mud crab especially has always been very different but I've, I've always equated that into like the mud crab doesn't look the same in our cyrodiil it's like regional differences you know it's like mud crab is just a generic term for all crabs god damn it can you assholes oh here we go Dagoth Garrus talks to me right now. The Sixthaus greets you, Lord Nerevar, or Cobb Salad, as you may call yourself. I am known as Dagoth Garrus, priest of the Illumi Shrine and minister of the Sixthaus servants. My lord, Dagoth Ur, has informed me of your coming. I wish, that I wish that this time you had come to honor your lord's friendship, not to betray it. Oh? But what does this mean? What about the Sixthaus? <laughs> as, as this guy's talking to me, this guy's like... Midway dying, anyway. The sixth house was not dead, but only sleeping. Now it wakes from its long dream, and with it, with it, Lord Dagothur, it comes forth to free Marwyn of foreign rules and divine pretenders. When the land is swept clean of false friends and greedy thieves, the children of Veloth will build a new a garden of plenty in this blighted wasteland. Six house servant, so. Forgive the rude welcome. But until you have de declared for us, we must treat you as an enemy. The sleepers and dreamers are newly come to Lord Dagoth, and not yet blessed with its power. But the children of his flesh, they are deep in the heart of his mysteries. Their bodies swell to contain his glory, and to yield the rich sacraments of our Lord's feasts. And we are the least of his servants, for ash poets, ascended sleepers, and ash vampires stand high above us in the Lord's bountiful grace. The Lord's friendship. Lord Dagoth gives me these words to say to you, so you may give them thought. Once we were friends and brothers, Lord Nerevar, in peace and in war. Yet beneath Red Mountain, you struck me down as I guarded the treasure you bound by oath to defend. But remembering our old friendship, I would forgive you and raise you high in my service. My Lord Dagoth bids you come to Red Mountain for the friendship and honor that once you shared. He will grant you counsel and power, if only you would pledge that friendship anew. I am not your Lord Dagoth, yet. I too would say to you, do you come with weapons to strike me down, or would you put your weapon away and join me in friendship? Okay. You know what I have a bit of a pet peeve with? Games that say, put the weapon down, join the bad guys, and then don't let you do it. How fucking cool would it be to be like, you know what? Screw this empire shit. Fuck the legion. Fuck all these guys. I'm rolling with the bad guys. But can't really do that. But our enemy, huh? Lord Dagoth would far rather have you as a friend than an enemy. But until you submit to him, six thousand servants will treat you as an enemy and try to destroy you. If you wish to be your friend, first you must go to Lord Dagoth and his citadel on Red Mountain and make your submission. Okay. Alright, what about this shrine right here? In Luby Shrine is just a small, quiet retreat for six house servants. A place to contemplate and grow strong and wise in Lord Dagoth's ways. Here we share the sacraments of flesh and blood and dream the dreams of our Lord. This and other lesser shrines are hidden from pray praying eyes throughout the land. But the greatest shrine of six house servants lie beneath Red Mountain, in a citadel of our Lord and his close kin. Damn, alright. Uh, what about Dagoth himself? Dagothur is the awakened lord of the Sixth House, came to cast down false gods and drive foreigners from the land, and restore the ancient glory of Morrowind. He bids you come to Red Mountain for the friendship and honor of one that share will give you the council power. Alright, so basically Dagothur is you can serve us and be like, listen, way back in the day, you and me were homies. Alright, let's chill out. Come knock on my door. I got coffee, alright? And, uh, that isn't what's going on right now. I present you, Snout Man. <laughs> God damn, it's got a lot of health. Ah! So if you... It so if you're following the series and you're like, hmm, so we've got a lot of, on this Dagothur, but anyway. With his dying breath, Dagoth Garris smiles and curses you. Even as my master wills, you should come to him in his flesh and of his flesh. There we go. Six house amulet and a message from Dagothur. Alright, so Dagothur, huh? Seems like quite the gentleman. 
he insists on being friends and he's like, well, remember the good old days? Let's check this out, by the way. Guys, what song is this? Yes, you got it. Alright, Six House Bell. I don't know what the significance here was, but uh, they do engage in the crafts. Anyway, uh, so we're going to read this message from Dagother. But he's quite the gentleman. He's not the uh, the monster that people make him out to be. But here we go. Lord Nerevar, Inderil. Here's uh, my lord friend and companion. Once we were friends and brothers, Lord Nerevar, in peace and in war. No houseman have ever served you better, more faithfully. Much that I did was at your command and a great cost to myself and my honor. Yet beneath Red Mountain, you struck me down as I guarded that treasure you're bound by oath to defend. It was a cruel blow, a bitter betrayal to be felled by your hand. But remembering our old friendship, I would forgive you and raise you high in my service. The sixth house was not dead, but only sleeping. Now we wake from our long dream, coming forth to free Marwyn of foreign rulers and divine pretenders. When the land is swept clean of false friends and greedy thieves, the children of Veloth will build anew a garden of plenty in this blighted wasteland. Come to Red Mountain, old friend. For the fellowship and honor that once we shared, I will give you a response. Oh, we read this already. As ever, your respectful servant and loyal friend, Lord Vorin Dagoth, Dagoth Ur. Okay. So, I don't know if it's time for me to. Ooh, hang. Glass boots? Well, I can't really have that yet, but. Ooh, a lot of good shit in here. Um, I don't know if it's time for me to start dropping the facts on what's going on in this game. Maybe it's a little too early. I don't know. But, um... Slow fall potion. Hang on. Scroll. I'll take that. Anything else? Fist of Ranagol. Fortified Agility. I will take this. Thank you very much. How much is it, by the way? Uh, it is... 138. Yes, please. Jesus. Okay. Wait until the vec. All right, fine. But I'll I'll, I'll keep you guys non-spoiled so far if you're following along in the story here. But uh, yeah, uh, a great event took place at Red Mountain, and I believe I read a little bit about that in a previous stream. But um, let's just say that the dwarves and the disappearance has something to do with all of this shit going on right now. But, let's just pretend like we don't know that. All we know for this... This playthrough in Cobb Salad's mind is that I, uh... I am just... Maybe, Dark Elf Messiah Jesus Reborn, maybe. And a lot of people, uh, don't believe that. And a lot of evil forces believe I do. So, hmm... Nerarine sounds like a dick. Oh, if you know what the other characters are like. <laughs> maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Who knows, but... Uh, I'm sure a lot of people want me dead. Has it also always been in these games, or did Marwyn introduce them? Uh, no, I believe that they were referenced in Daggerfall, I believe. Uh, not in Arena, I believe, but... Uh, their disappearance is... Really, the, the whole base of this game, really. Um. Okay, uh, half spoiler, uh, half spoiler, is, wasn't there another thing in Daggerfall also referenced, like, at the end of this game? You know, the thing, the thing. I think it was, yeah. So it's not a new concept in this game. Okay, we still gotta get out, so hang on. Uh, black and hard, so we gotta skadoodle over here. What thing? Oh, you'll see! You'll see! You'll see! <laughs> uh, I don't know if you know this, but you can get a full set of Daedric armor at the Tower of Telfir. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right, shit. All of the endings of Daggerfall were, were canon, too, if I recall correctly. Alright. Um, so... 
fuck, I really want to talk about something really specific, but it but it ruined the story. Fuck. Okay, tell tell you what, I'll, I'll I'll compromise. So Daggerfall's endings are all canon. They all happen at once in a very JoJo Part Five esque manner, in a way. Um, and some of the bullshit surrounding that they all happen at once is documented in a book in this game called A Warp in the West. Which you can also read in Oblivion and Skyrim, I believe. But yeah, all of them are kind of canon at the same time. It's kind of hard to explain. I may, might go into it more, but uh, yeah. Hey, Dreamer, how you doing? That is quite enough. We have you in our discern... Discur... Discerning... Discerning? Is that how you say that? Discerning high? Yeah. I was gonna say disconcerning, but... Cup salad. We see you. Waking and sleeping. Discerning. Okay, there we go. My starkest madness, seemingly divine, divinest sense. Come grasp the chain and prove your sane. What about Dagoth? All right. It is the hour of waking. He comes forth in his glory, and his people shall rejoice, and his enemies shall shatter like dust. Hey, I don't know if you all know this, but. Uh Let's just say that once all of this madness is over, you can actually help the people that uh, have sworn loyalty to somebody. Is Daggerfall gonna be a one-off? It'll probably be a full stream, in fact, but... Uh... Oop, fa fell down. Oh, oh, okay. Are you going to kill fish? What is this Halala guard doing? What the fuck is it? What do you... Yes, I must slaughter this local fish! He really pissed me off. Alright. All right. Yeah, we might get to Daggerfall one day. I can already tell it's gonna be a very slow kind of grind this. on that game, though. A lot, of, a lot of me telling stories and dick jokes and stuff like that, but... Um, yeah, because Daggerfall... Isn't Daggerfall, like, canonologically? Canonologically, you know what I mean. Is Daggerfall not still the largest video game ever made? Or has the largest map, rather? Or did something, something beat it? No? Nice. Minecraft... I think beats it, but well, that doesn't make any sense because Minecraft is like randomly generated maps, right? I mean, I guess you could make a larger map, but uh, nah, I don't know about that. So, my case of corpus has worsened, so I don't know if you caught that, but um, when we were there, we just contracted or uh, contracted, I don't know if that's the right word, but we have we have caught corpus, and that's what we're gonna figure out. And again, all of our stats are going down because of it, because I'm literally rotting away from fighting those weird dudes. And they're gonna be like, "Ew, what's wrong with you? you make a special I've heard once that, like, the actual map of Daggerfall is as big as, like, a real country. That's how big that game is. But, if I can be qu quite honest with Daggerfall's map, it is not the best, because it's a lot of just randomly generated land masses that don't really have anything unique about them. It's just like endless land. And sometimes a rat pops up and goes, Bam! <laughs> you know, it's not like super interesting, but it's there. It's there. Hello you know. There. How are you? Hey, Caius, how you doing? Am I here to discuss the orders? I sure am. Guess what? With Dagoth Garrus dead, the Sixth South Shrine is no longer a threat. You more than earn a promotion to the rank of Traveler, and I'm very worried that I have Corpus Disease. But I have some good news in that department. Oh yeah? I canvassed my information for possible treatments, just in case you contract the disease during your mission. I learned from Fast Eddie... By the way... I, I am thoroughly convinced that Fast Eddie is a fucking Motorhead reference. If you like to gamble, I tell you what you mean! Anyway, uh, that your best chance of getting cured in Deviafir, an ancient Tavani wizard who runs a corporis corporazarium for victims of the deceased. Here we fucking go. You guys ready to get fucking nuts with Morrowind? You, 
You ready to go full fucking skooma with the riding? It's about to turn fucking wacky. All right. But yes, his name is Davy Fear. All right. Oh, yeah. Here, take this Dwemer artifact and Thousand Dregs and go to tell Fear. Devout Fear would, will like Dwemer artifact. A gift may sweeten his disposition. The goal is for his expenses. And there's a couple of levitation poses. And here you'll need him in Telvani Towers because wizards don't do stairs. So get moving. And get that corpus disease cured. Then hurry back. I think I have to know the law of prophecy for no. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So what's, uh, what's this corpus disease? You have corpus disease. It's a rare disease that actually drives victims mad and causes terrible, deformed growths on the body. I don't know much about it. I'll check my informants and see how they're cured. In the meantime, we can discuss your orders. My orders, yeah. Okay. And tell fear. What's about it? Tell fear. Divas Tower is southwest of Saturn's Moor on an island of the southwest region of the Zafir Bell Bay. There's so many names I can't pronounce. Uh, here, let me mark it on the map. There's a dock, but no boat service, so you must water walk or swim from Cedric Mora. Use the guild guide service at the Belmora Maidus Guild to reach Cedric Mora. At Cedric Mora, find Wolverine Hall, Fighter's Guild, and ask the, the scout. Sandrin Irath, the Vidis, blah, 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 Okay. Wizards don't use stairs. Let's put some of our old weapons here. Don't you like that, that my entire thing has become a big crack shack now? Of shit. Put my my crap down. Put this ring down that I don't really need. Got this wizard staff. It's a garbage dump. Well, it's not a literal crack shack because I haven't put my moon sugar down, but I'll put my skooma down. Uh, and got my dagger here. I really do, do love the stacking stuff here. I, I really am a big fan. Look at that! I got my my dwarven bong. All right, put my tanker down. <laughs> it's cozy. It's a man cave now, man. Let me just repair some of this stuff too. This is how you repair stuff. All right. Let me take a little rest. You wake, you hear something, and sense the presence of another nearby. Ah! Yeah, what, what did you tell me, man? Fucking ass zombie. Well, t tell you what, you clean you clean this up, all right? Attack while sleeping. That's worrying. The sex house does exist, and for some reason they want you dead. Perhaps it is safe to sleep in town. Pip is not safe to sleep in town. Makes it too easy for them to find you. Word of new outlanders get around here fast. Maybe camping out in the backcountry is safer, or maybe you should take the fight to them. They might have a base nearby. Wow, you're really observant, you know that? Idiota. Gee, thanks. Okay. Kelkaius. No, 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 no. Let's not. Don't I need the the, the uh? Don't I need this the, the, this dwarven bong for uh, tell tell fear anyway? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I I have a feeling. Sorry. All right. All right. Uh, all right. So we're heading out to uh, the wrong direction here. Going to be a dual stream without me going totally wrong. All right. I really don't want you around here. Bye. Hey, get away from me! You've got a corpus disease. You can't get cured of corpus. Get away! <laughs> got away! Oh, I'm disgusting. Oh, by myself. Don't wanna be. Oh, by myself. Why should I speak with you, no? You're afflicted with a blight disease. I am a healer, among other services. I sell a potion that cures all blight diseases. Blah, 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 blah. A blessing, uh, blah, 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 I need a shower. You're not from around here. Okay. Oh. I stink. Oh, before, before we stink up the place totally, let us, uh, buy some potions that are actually good. Not bargain. I want some 
quality, quality stuff here. Well, restore strength. I might need this for the, uh, the, uh, what do they call them? The, the lumps of flesh that cast this thing on you. That, uh, bogs you down because they, 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 uh, they, they, they take your strength away with a spell, and it's it's annoying. It's a greater bone walker, and it is oh so annoying. There's many times when I've played Morrowind where they have stricken me with this spell, and it's literally made me stand still because I'm like, I don't have the strength to deal with this. And I have to go completely naked, leave all my shit behind, walk back into town, get my shit back up, run back into the dungeon on level 3, and then pick up my shit off the floor, and then... Bah! So annoying. So incredibly, incredibly annoying. Uh, I guess poison or cure disease. You know, I'm just getting a bit of a... Right, let's take down the price a little bit. Alright, here we go. Let's head to, uh, to Sadrith Mora. Don't press your luck. You're not exactly charming your way into my graces, friend. The indignity of it all. Shut the up! Shut the hell up! Shut the nice. fuck up! Goddamn wizards! I, I fucking... <laughs> I get it. I smell, but shut up. You've got my ear. Let's hear it. Let me sleep here. I joined you guys. <laughs> At least I got you, Hrundi. Hey, get away from me! What do you sell? What is your rank, swordsman? Then my service is not ready for you. Not yet. Okay. Well, screw you. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm actually really excited to uh, meet the crusty old wizard because he is nuts. He is really, really nuts. And this is where uh, Kirk Bride. Uh, again, is, is it Kirk Bride? I, 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 yeah, th it is Kirk Bride. Um, Rider of this game, he shut himself in for a week with a bottle of whiskey and uh, a carton of cigarettes, and he. He just went to town and started writing some really crazy fucking shit, and you'll see what I mean here. Okay, before we do anything, by the way, this is a slave market. So, you can buy slaves here if you want, which we'll actually need to do later on in the game. Let's see if I can find this slave stuff here. Uh, I think it's around here. Yeah, you can find these huge slave cages. Mm. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, so for what I remember, I gotta go there. And it won't be a problem because I've already ensured my way there safely because I already have my belt of anti-gravity. But uh, if you're unaware, wizards in this game are kind of smog assholes. They're kind of... A little above the general public, so what they do is they uh, they demand you use a levitation spell in order to even talk to them. So, yeah, um, I think I actually was given some some levitation spells by Caius, but I won't be needing that because I've already fixed it. By <laughs> but yeah, Telvani wizards are a little extra nuts. Um, in fact, all the Telvani are nuts. It's one of the houses in Morrowind, right? And if you don't know, that's like one of the political clans and. What, who, who rules this great volcanic piece of shit? But uh, anyway, the Talvani, I've said this before, they are fantastic because they're all crazy. They're fucking nuts. Um, their motto is that if somebody kills you uh, and takes your shit, you probably deserve it because you were weak enough to get killed. So they justify murder in the sense of ha ha ha, you suck. And I want to remind you, this is one of the most, well, it was to say, the most popular uh, house in Morrowind, but, I mean, they're, 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 they're operating politically. 
Now, is this the uh, the place I need to be? I think it is. Hang on. Shit's about to get a little nuts here. Some real nuttery. Yeah, good. Alright, uh, fuck it, I'll just do this. <laughs> Can't be bothered. <laughs> it's over here, actually, sorry. Tiger Falls map is about the size of the UK, while well, uh, Minecraft world is the size of Neptune. I'm, I'm sorry, what? Oh boy. It's about to turn a little weird, everybody. Uh, I, I warned you, this, this, this is actually kind of fucking weird. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's talk to her. Uh, have you come to plunder the dungeon, or have you gone in corpus disease, or did you come to see Divaith Fear? I'm Bait Fear. I'm the wife of Divaith Fear. One of them, sort of. Uh, oh, really? Yes. Well, not wife in the married sense, but you know, paramour, concert, something like that. It's a, it's a bit awkward, really, because well, he made us too. So, no, we aren't really his daughters, or anything. It's like we were his daughters because he made us. You see. What the fuck? Yo, wizards be crazy. Wizards be crazy and nuts. R repeat that again. Um. So, uh, when you become a thousand years old in Marwin and you got nothing to do in your Tavani Towers, you know what you do? You make clones of yourself and you get weird. All right, well, what about the dungeon here? You'd be surprised how many people come in here to try to steal Lord Fierce creatures, or treasures. He does have quite a collection of relics and artifacts, but he keeps them down in the Corpusarium. He wants to risk catching Corpus disease. I know who wants to catch Capsule. Not to mention who wants to get ripped in half. Pity. We don't send many good thieves here, just the stupid ones. Corpus disease, huh? Everyone gets Corpus disease comes to the Corpusarium. It's not very pleasant, but at least they're all fed and cared for. There's someone watching me. I can tell. Uh, okay. Alright, so... We head down here, which I believe is the way to it. Oh, hello, Delta Fear. My name is Delta Fear. Did you want to see the vet Fear? Uh... Sure. Lord Fear is in his study. I'm sure he won't be... Mind being disturbed. We've got a few visitors here. You can levitate, can't you? Well, sure I can. The study is on an upper level, accessible only by the central flywheel. I'm afraid we aren't set up to accommodate barbarians or peasants. Understand? Go up the ramps to the Hall of Tail Fear, then walk around looking up and until I see a shaft above you, then levitate up the shaft. Look for Lord Fear in his study. Oh, come on, leave me alone. I'm sorry, I, I, I smell so much. You guys wanna... Well, you know what, we shouldn't go to the Corpsarium yet, but... Uh, what if I told you... That if you if you're totally unaware of this, the last dwarf in all of Elder Scrolls actually is alive in this game, and we're about to meet him. Straight up. And he really looks like a dwarf too. He doesn't look like, you know, hoo ha. All right, here we go. Goddamn wizards. Leave me. Hello, Alpha Fear. How you doing? I suppose you want to speak with Devath Fear. Have you got corpus disease? Nah, I'm good. Well, look who it is. L well, look who it is. There's no time for talk now. Go. Say, there's an interesting Dwemer piece you have there. What can you tell me about it? Well, you can have us a gift. <laughs> Politely show the piece and put it away. No, not for you. <laughs> what shall we do, guys? <laughs> two. Gift. Give. Two. Not for you. A pity. I can see what you want to keep such a lovely relic of drama culture, but now, if you'll excuse me, I have no time for idle shudder. Oh. Listen, you're not interesting, no offense, but I don't want to talk to you. Well, 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 let's, let's go back and do that again. 
So it's, it's weird to give you these options that don't really, like, matter that much. Wizard! Wizard. Wizard. Fine. Here you go. A gift for me? How thoughtful and shrewd! I suppose you know I am a collector, and that such a gift is bound to please. I congratulate you on your diplomatic skills. So why have you tried to butter me up? Come to consult the great Deviath Fear? You have the divine disease? Want to plunder the dungeon? Or leer at my daughters? <laughs> I do have the divine disease. The magical principle of corpus disease are elusive and miraculous. Far more subtle and powerful than any conventional sorcery or enchantment. I'm persuaded that in some manner the curse is of a blessing of a god. Perhaps both a curse and a blessing. The victim, of course, cannot appreciate the marvelous nature of corpus. It says, saps the mind and destroys the body. But to a wizard, it is a profound and glorious mystery. A little worth of a long lifetime of study. The dungeon. When you live for thousands of years, you need a hobby. Something you love. Like fucking your I mean, always sparks your interest. I collect treasures and invite thieves to steal them. I'm a collector and a sportsman. I collect enchanted items and ancient artifacts. Have quite a few dwemer pieces. And as a sportsman, I love letting thieves try to steal my well-guarded treasures. Only a few rules. One, don't hurt the inmates. Two, don't hurt my daughters and my wardens and my guards can look out for themselves. Your, your daughters? Not bad for something born in a jar, eh? Charming and talented. No, thought is really a little project, a side benefit of my researches in the corpus disease. Made them myself from my own flesh. Nice, aren't they? Alpha fear, bitch fear, delta fear, and oopsie fear. Quite a comfort to me in my old age. <laughs> you need, you need the Bible. <laughs> Okay, well, oh boy, all right, well, I sure do have corpus disease. How interesting, did you know that corpus makes you immune to disease? Have you ever heard of the prophecies of the Neverine? Aslan has said the Neverine will be immune to disease. I've always thought, maybe I have the Neverine down in my corpsarium, and I don't even know it. <laughs> the Neverine is a fat, disgusting corpus monster and mad as a marsh rat. Wouldn't that be funny? Explain them that you may follow fell in never in prophecies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fascinating story you tell. So you made to meet an Everine. Means nothing, of course. Corpus victims have all sorts of delusions, but let me think. I've got a potion. In theory, it should cure Corpus. Doesn't work, though. Probably kill you. Kill all my test subjects. But you've got nothing to lose. Before I give it to you, I want you to look around below the corpsarium. Know what's in store if you don't take the potion. And while you're there, I want you to pick up a pair of boots from a victim. Calls himself Jagrum Bargan, my oldest patient. Handy fellow, fixes things for me, bring the boots back, and then you can have the potion. Okay. Here's my reaction to this. Uh. All right, guys. Are you excited to see this? I'm sure. I'm sure you might have seen this character at some point without playing this game, but we're literally about to see the last dwarf in all of Cyrodiil, and it's quite bizarre how he uh, he has come to be. Go away, stranger. All right. I am Visakai, Warden of the Corpsarium. I am here to warn you. Do not harm the inmates. If you come to plunder the dungeon, you must endure their attacks and take your chances with me, their Warden and Protector. Neat. Alright, so here's a common mistake. All these dudes have uh, Corpus and they will try to attack you. Do not attack them back. It screws everything up. So... Yeah, as, as Crust Wizard has said, don't touch anything. Alright. And as you can see, they turn into these horrible blobs of... Fuck. 
And I'm about to turn into one of these things if I don't cure this shit, so... Yep. Kind of horrible. Can open this up, too, if I have the required skill, but... Uh... Y'all ready for the last wharf? Here he is. There he is. He's uh, it's a big boy. Yagram Baggard. And you can see he's not there's not much left of him. There's someone watching me. <laughs> Alright. Did you know that there is actually because this guy doesn't have a voice in this, right? But I'll, I'll show you something real, real interesting. Did you know they actually recorded the voice for him? But they didn't use it in the game? Check this out. A visitor? What brings you to visit Yagrim Bagar, Master Crafter, and last living dwarf? No! <laughs> no. If I could just figure a scheme of classifying many folks for tri-ply or even more complex things. Alright, there we go. Let's see if I can emulate this voice. You're here for the Dwemer Boots. I'm not gonna do that fucking voice. Tell my gracious keeper that I've done what I could. Only a Dwemer Magecrafter could have done so much, but only idiots could have crafted these boots. It changed my race that we must have been judged, cause it's me, Pokey! <laughs> must be judged by the works of such lackwit blunderers. Oh, Dwemer boots, huh? Lord Fear obtained these enchanted Dwemer boots from an unfortunate chief, uh, thief. And given the quality of their craftsmanship, little wonder the fellow came a bad end. But I can do nothing for him. The fundamental enchantment is flawed. Might as well start over again. If such a pair of boots could still be fashioned in these benighted latter days, but I've done my best. Take them to Lord Fear with my sincerest apologies. Gracious keeper. I owe my life to Lord Fear. He took me in when I was in a when I was a mad monster out of my mind. In time I emerged from my dementia. And now I'm quite lucid most of the time. Though my body is still a grotesque and useless prison, and I still have some feeble hope of a cure, Lord Fear has tried many spells and potions. None have helped me. But neither have they harmed me. If anyone can cure this disease, Lord Fear can. And what about your race? Once I was a master crafter in the service of Lord Kagranak, chief architect, <laughs> architect of the great Second Empire Freeholds, and the greatest enchanter of his time, I could not match the genius of Lord Kagranak. But what he could envision, I and my colleagues could build. All that is gone forever. I still retain my cunning, but hands and eyes fail me, and my memories have long faded. My only consolation is he stayed to mock the gods who destroyed my race and condemn me to this Blake existence. Oh yeah? Since the disappearance of the dwarves, I have been alone in this world, a trapped in this grim prison. I can scarcely move, and my fellow inmates are scarcely good company. The risk of corpse disease deters most visitors, but if you meet with cultivated minds undaunted by the terrors of the corpsarium, you might mention your recent interview with the last, last living dwarf. Disappearance of the dwarves? Hmm, I cannot say what happened. I was not there to observe. I was in an outer realm at the time. <laughs> and then I came back. My people were gone. I left Red Mountain, wandering Tamriel for years, searching our deserted colonies, looking for a survivor of an explanation. Then, a long, long time ago, I returned to Red Mountain, still looking for answers. Instead, I found Corpus Deceased, and I have been there ever since. I have theories, if you're interested. Oh, yeah? Lord Kagernak, the foremost arcane philosopher and magecrafter of my era, devised tools to shape myth mythopoeic, mythopoeic forces intending to transcend the limits of Dwemer mortality. However, in reviewing his formulae, formula, some logicians are logicians. I cannot read some of this stuff. Oh my god, I'm so terrible. I'm so sorry. Log logicians? That's how you say that, right? Logicians. Well, anyway, regardless, argue that side effects were unpredictable. And errors might be catastrophic. I think Kagernet might have succeeded in granting our race eternal life with unforeseen consequences. Such as wholesale, wholesale displacement to an outer realm. Or it may have erred, said, erred and utterly destroyed our race. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, well, well. The last living dwarf. This is how I style myself. I do not know for a fact that I am the last. But in my travels thousands of years ago, I have never encountered another. But since I have been here, I often ask Lord Fear, but he says he has never heard of a cr credible rumor of another Dwemer or Tamriel on Tamriel or any other realm. Hmm. So something about Red Mountain where Dagoth Ur is. Do you remember something? Again, if you're t if you're watching for the first time, if you look at the uh, the note from Dagoth Ur here, right? Yet beneath Red Mountain, you struck me down as I guarded the treasure you bound me by oath to defend. Hmm. I wonder what it all could mean. Perhaps all of this ties in with the disappearance. I don't know. Am I dumb for not connecting the dots? No, not really, but... But the uh, the plot is getting closer and closer. All right, so let me explain. Let me explain, because we're getting closer and closer to the actual explanation to what this all shit is about. So, Kagranek was the head honcho of the dwarves, right? And basically, he made these tools that will basically give them immortal life. The gods didn't like that. So the gods kind of... Right. That's all I'm going to say. But. What if I told you that these tools that grants immortality... Got in the wrong hands. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh... See here. Um, actually, I don't think that the head honcho would actually be Kagranak. I think there was a guy above him too. It just so happens that Kagranak made the tools, which you know. But you can argue lore, what you know. Is this regarding Nord? Anyway, well, did you get my boots? No boots. No potion. The, bo the boots first, please, and now I'll give you the potion. On the following condition, you must drink it here, before my eyes. It should act immediately, and I need to observe you very carefully. Agreed? So we're going about to drink this stuff that he has never tested. Or, well, that has always failed. And the only one that could possibly survive this is Neverine, so... Ah, fuck it. Good. Open your mouth and close your eyes. Good now, swallow. Goodness. Good grief. Look. Look. I, I, I have I have prepared many days for this. It's working. It's working. All right. Um. <laughs> It's working! Remarkable! Let me check your skin! Your eyes! Your tongue! Amazing! I think it worked! No sign of the disease at all! Of course, you still have the corpus disease just like I planned, but all your symptoms are gone! Marvelous! I'll go try it out on some of the most desperate inmates, but I'll answer any questions you have before you go. Holy shit! I am now invincible against all diseases. No more common flu. Yes, yes, Cobb Salad, you're completely cured. Did you forget something? Um, what was this Dwemer piece? Thank you for your gift. Yes, but what was it? Uh, oh, okay. What about this potion? It worked, didn't it? Remarkable. Perhaps it will work on the other inmates. I'll have to proceed carefully, of course. You may be an exceptional case. The divine disease. Alright. 
What about Delta Fear? Delta Fear is the efficient one. Organized and orderly. She acts as a stewardess, manages accounts, maintains supplies, keeps the tower and Copsario running. What about Alpha Fear? Alpha Fear, the sharpest of my girls in wit and tongue, gets on my nerves sometimes, but to conflict is the spice of life. Alright. It's the sweet one, eager to please and be pleased. An excellent cook and a lovely singing voice. Why, why wizards gotta be so weird, man? But your daughters. Oh, God, what's, what's wrong with you, dude? All right, well, thank you so much. Thank you so much, you weird-ass fucking thousand-year-old wizard that has nothing better to do. And screwing yourself. All right, before we go. Now, from what I remember, you can actually get a Daedric set here, right? If you... Right? I, I forgot. Uh, from killing him? Are you fucking crazy? This is... Guys, do you want to see me die is there in a split second? All right, this wizard is thousands of years old. He he has nothing better to do all day than screw himself. All right, he's crazy. Watch this. Oh no! Ow! 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 Let's try that one more time. May I help you? Ah. All I gotta do is stun lock him. Ah, it's working! It's working! It's working! Ah! <laughs> yeah, uh, don't fuck with the wizard. He will fuck you. And then I'll fuck himself. Weird. I don't know why this is in, but, uh, yeah, hey. Okay. So, yeah, he didn't get rid of the disease, but he basically turned out all the negative effects about it. So, uh, there you go. Alright, so I gotta fly up a certain hole here, right? It's not this hole, is it? Is it this hole? No, that's not it. There's some place here that has like a Daedric set. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? Sorry, I... Ugh. All right, let's see here. Uh, she got the schist is right. You can take some shit from there. Yeah, is it? May I help? In the basket? What you talking about? Uh? I'm surprised this guy doesn't have like a million copies. Oh, here, th this one. Uh, I'm surprised he doesn't have a million copies of uh, the Lost Aragonian made, considering what a weirdo he is, but... Alright, did I buy any more opening spells? Yes, I did, but I don't think this is enough. No, fuck. Um, uh, I'm finding it hard to get in tomorrow when any tips. Uh, I don't know. Uh, if you're finding it hard to get into... Uh, is it the story or is it the gameplay that, um, there's a lock, lock box of the data rune you can get without the risk, not the chest, a small box on the shelf. You talking about this? Corpus meat. Uh, Sounds like a key or something. Oh, here we go. And then... No, I'm, I'm having a big brain moment here. Uh, but then that that that, that I have I I've totally forgotten how to do this. Uh, sorry, I, I know this is pissing people off because I'm like Jesus, get it together. But I ha I don't remember this too well. It's obviously not here, and it's obviously not here. It There's a chest or something, right? Uh, that's not. Is there something I can do for you? Servant skull. Is it the corpsarium? I mean, I'm just looking for the uh, the uh, the key opens one of the downstairs chests. Maybe in the corpsarium. Um, small lock, but okay, gotcha. All right, let's do that then. 
Ow! I'm fine. This is Soul Gym. Uh, I love the look of this the, the, this place, though. It, it's really, really nice. Oh! A nice bed to sleep in. But yeah, the, uh, the Corpus Disease is not gone. It is simply Boots of Blinding Speed Ed. If that makes any sense. Okay. Might be it. Might be it for a uh, little more wind after this. By the way, uh, for tonight because I've been streaming for a while. But uh, here we go. Corpse area. Excuse me. Are not bad. Yeah, whatever. You never bothered with alchemy, did it? Did I? I, I? I I've dabbled in it a little bit in this game, but I, I've been more into like enchantment and stuff like that. But okay, so it's. Should be somewhere, huh? Hmm. This leads where? Hmm. By the, by the way, if you... Oh, here we go! Alright, so this leads here. Do I need the goblet here? I, I guess. Probably gonna be a lot of backtracking here, so get comfy. Uh, big old mace. Oh boy. It's time. Excuse me. Not this one. By the way, if you if you fuck um if you fuck this up and kill one of them. The game is basically unbeatable. I think you can actually soft lock the game because he'll never talk to you. He'll be that angry with you. He'll just be like, nope. Fuck you. I had enough of you. Not here either, huh? But, uh, yeah. The weirdness makes this game, you know. Uh, I, I think I think Morrowind is the most eccentric in the Scrolls game. I mean, yeah, Oblivion certainly is eccentric for other reasons too. But I think like just just in the sheer weirdness that surrounds it, you know, it's a very bizarre game at times. But uh, you know, I enjoy that. Uh, let's see if I can find the other one, perhaps. Uh, no, that's not it. But a, a, a sincere question for chat: um, What is your favorite Elder Scrolls game? Like out of all of them, it doesn't. And this this sounds like I'm presenting it as a, like a ooh, new game's bad. No, no, no. I'm I'm serious. If you enjoy Skyrim the most, so fucking be it. That's your opinion. Uh, Daggerfall, Morrowind, Morrowind, uh, Skyrim, Daggerfall. A lot of people say Daggerfall. In fact, uh, Morrowind Forever, Oblivion with mods, Skyrim, Fallout Three. <laughs> ha ha ha. I have some bread. Where is the chest that I need? Let's check this map. Perhaps I missed it. I'm having a feeling I probably missed it. I'm doing this for Daedric, right? Like a, but it doesn't have a set. I forget what it is. Will I ever stream Arena in the future? Maybe. Maybe do like a reverse retrospective on this. Like we'll uh we'll do uh we'll do Skyrim last. <laughs> so if I've been there too. I wonder what which one I'm missing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've been here too. I have, yeah, where's 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 the last one? There's one chest in the basement outside the corpse area. Oh, really? Because I don't remember doing this. I'm really bad at it. Uh, oh, that's not this one, though. It's not this one. It's not that one. <laughs> Will I ever play Seaman? You know, why not? You know, I, there's two games I really want to stream. That's not in like Seaman, but... Hey, you Pikachu? I'd love to stream that, but I can never, like... Well, 
some people have actually offered to uh, get me the uh, the microphone for it because you can't emulate that. You can, but it's really uh, it's really dumb. You basically need to have a USB adapter for the, for the microphone, and it's got to be just this microphone in particular. So, um, yeah, um, maybe one of these days. But I, God, I wish I could just use your fucking regular USB. USB thing, but nope, that's not how we rock and roll. Huh, what am I missing? What about Hey You Pikachu? Oh, yeah, the game? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what, though, I've, I've said this before, but I fucking love Pokemon Channel. Like, Pokemon Channel is regarded as one of the worst Pokemon games ever made. But you know what? People are wrong! People are really wrong. There it was. Fucking hell. People are incredibly wrong because you know what? Pokemon Channel was awesome. Watch TV with Pikachu all day. Hell yeah. Tell me that's bad. And you know what's the funniest thing about Pokemon Channel, by the way? Because the American version of po Pokemon Channel was kind of... It didn't really do anything. But us Europeans, I'm gonna tell you, the European version of Pokemon Channel was the best. Because you got a free legendary if you beat the game. And everybody was wondering when I was playing, I was I had Ruby, everybody else had Sapphire. Like, what's that Pokemon? I'm like, it's exclusive, dude. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> and Americans did not get this fucking thing. Absolutely fucked up. Totally shafted, totally shafted. Dirachi? Yeah, that was the Pokemon, yes. Alright, hopefully... I don't know which one. Is this this one? Yes. No, I would have done that one. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Could it be this one? Nope. I'm trying to memorize all of these. Hmm. They got in a Colosseum bonus disc. Oh, really? Guys, um, I gotta ask, is, is, is Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon XD, DDDDD, all those games, is that considered to be Pokemon Stadium 3? Genuine question. Because I, when I look at the gameplay footage, I'm like, this is fucking Pokemon Stadium. No, they had a story. But the gameplay was similar, right? I'm, I'm asking you guys these things, because I, I generally have no fucking idea. I'm getting nauseous going back and forth in this cave. I really like shouldn't mark down which ones I've been at and I haven't been at yet. Because this is this is getting ridiculous. This is getting really stupid. Alright, I'll, I'll go back and hopefully it's the one. No. Hello. I have a great no, fucking strategy here. A fantastic strategy. <laughs> uh, the prey approaches. I should just buy a bunch of lamps and put them down to where I've been and I haven't been. And that could actually legitimately help me see which ones I've been at. Is there a... Uh, bleh, what do you call them? A one of these treasure boxes down in this one, or make a house out of lamps. I love this this calm music. I don't know, is this really worth, worth it? Don't forget upstairs. Well, there aren't any stairs, but you get it. Oh, wait, there's chests up too? Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, this is gonna take forever, man! Shit! Oh, there we go. Ah! We'll get to it. We'll get to it. I have been there. Have I been here? Oh, I have been here. Alright. Time is an illusion. Alright. 
But unrelated, does anybody have a really hard time meditating? Because, like... Your mind is like a like a monkey jumping up and down. <laughs> you can never like calm down. That's me, man. Every day. I hate it. I really hate it. Like when everybody's like, alright, let's chill out, I'm like, okay. Like I, I have two modes. I have two modes in my head, right? Spastic blur. Like Alright. Or Sleepy. Two modes on and off. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Uh, oh, there we go, finally. Hopefully I can just get back now and do the rest. Uh, that's too much of a mood. <laughs> Alright, so... Is it time? No, not yet. Not yet. I really don't want to go up the 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 the, the uh, what should I call it? The tower to find this again. There's so many fucking boxes, man. All right. Been there. Been there. Right. Yep. So, uh, which ones haven't I been to yet? That that obviously is not unlocked because I'm I'm. It's seven in the morning. I just realized how fucking long I've been streaming. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, uh, em emergency. Emergency realization. Oh my god. Well, l let me tell you something. We'll get to this, this this Daedric set, and then we'll end the stream. But uh, this this should not take this fucking long to do. Uh, I don't do not remember the order of these these keys and stuff like that, so I really apologize. But but I think I've exhausted every possible option on this, so I should just head back and try to explore the Telfir Tower instead, because I think the Corpsarium is empty now, man. Like what what can remain after this? Hey, 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 hey. Maybe this is it. Oh boy. Well, that's gotta be the last one. I'm thinking the last, very last one is, um, is, um, up to the wizard. Uh, yes, yes, I have questions. Move out of the way, please. Can you? Ugh. gonna heal up here and we also leveled up by the way so strength give me some strength give me some uh, uh, agility and give me some more uh, endurance please all right hopefully this is it not that one huh all right and I've been through this one yes Oh, I have not. Okay. This is a madness, man. Some crazy madness. Okay. Is, was there any other chests that I have not unlocked in the Corpsarium here? Because we did this one, and we did all the other ones, but... I think that's it. I think that's it. Now he's got to find the last one. May maybe? Move out of the way. Spit it out or hit the road. Yeah, 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 yeah. So mean. You know what's funny in Marwind, by the way? You're so used to people treating you like shit that once you become, well, a little later in the story, everybody's gonna be like, Ooh, I love you! Wow! You're the best! And you're like, well, shut up! Ass licker. <gasps> oh no, that's not the one. Go ahead, Alan. Well, here we go. We got Daedric Sanctuary Amulet. Neat. And we got the key here. And now we gotta get... Oh my god. 
So ridiculous. Fetch Quest Super Edition. Alright. Any extra ones, perhaps? No, I think that's all of them. I hate that I'm going so fast on this, by the way, that I'm slamming into obstacles. Okay, there's some Dwemer coins I can probably get, but nah. You bother us. Do not waste mm -hmm. our time. Mm -hmm. Why I gotta be like that, man? Alright, oh, Jesus. This has to be it. This has to be it, man. Come on. Yes. Volendrung. Oh, you know, you know, I, I, I had Volendrung in Skyrim. I specifically remember this, but you get Volendrung from, uh, from, uh, Clav not Clavicus Vile, uh, it's one of the Daedric shrine things. Uh, Malekith. There we go. You just drop it on the fucking floor. Like, yeah, whatever. Alright. Let's head back. Alright. Then we're done. We get our Daedric shit on, and then... Oh, yeah. You guys want to see something funny? Check this out. Let's put this amulet on. What could happen? Th didn't this thing like... Uh, didn't it like have pro stuff? From what I remember, it killed you or something. Huh. Remember, re remember it wrong. Wrong. Right? Wrong. You can tell I'm getting a little little exhausted after streaming so long that I'm when I'm backtracking and slamming into walls, I'm like, where am I? Then <laughs> you know, Joel needs some fucking sleep. Alright, here we go. Last one. <gasps> it's not the one. Oh no. Oh. Yes, Outlander. What do you want? Oh. You sound like Barb Ross. I sound like Barb Ross. <laughs> I think that's a great compliment. I don't have a lot of patience for questions, Outlander. Hmm. Where's the last one, I wonder? It couldn't be the classic, could it? No, that's not it either. Shid. Oh, Shid. If I've been there and I've been. May I help? I've been there. Uh, press this. It's this one that's left. Hmm. Shelf on the main room. When I you say main room, uh, what do you mean? Oh, 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 I think. Oh, oh, hang on. Yes. A goblet. Well, that didn't do nothing. The goblet, anyway. Okay, let's see here. Neat. Okay, well, well, you know, there's there's one left. There's one left that I forgot about. Maybe the closet near. Uh, Whatever you're looking for. Baba, <laughs> Baba Stank. What is it? Sorry that I'm getting a little, little like non-talky towards the ending here, but I really am pretty exhausted, so um, you know. But that shouldn't detract from this. No, it's still locked. Shit. Mm. This is like when I played Vice City, like as a kid, and. Uh, I was Easter egg hunting for the uh, the hidden packages, and I was following a guide until I realized I had already collected some, and I didn't know which ones I had and didn't have. So if I follow a guide now, I'd be like, "Well, I don't know where where I'm at." Where, like you know, so shit. 
Oh man. Five bucks if you punch the corpse. No, 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 no. The amulet only works for furious. Oh, I, let me try that out. I do that too. Yeah, it's very annoying, isn't it? Question. The amulet is bugged. You need to restart to make it work. Really? Oh, hey. No, I don't think so. You don't. Who are you? Did my father send you? Should we travel together to get out of this place? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? <coughs> Different quest. Different quest. Alright. Sleepy baby. Sleepy. You have to use it in the same room. I oh, gotcha. Alright, well, let's try to do that and let's get the Daedric stuff next stream. Because I, I got toothpicks under my eyelids, you know. Spit it out or hit the road. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that song? The German. Ein, zwei, Polizei. Sieben, Nacht. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Kraftwerk. Drei wir Grenadier. Salte Keks. Dead artifacts in the Tower of Telfir. Well, we'll check it out next stream because I am ready to hit the road. Because I'm pretty damn tired. No, I don't think so. Well, I do, so shut up. Shut up. Da da by trio. Is there something? I hey, check this out. Would you like to travel to Magus Volar? Sure. Oh shit. Don't think so. I don't remember it happening like this. I really don't. I thought you just like exploded or something. Like I, I seriously, I remember this like something really bad happening. But, ha. Huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Try that again. I, I totally forgot what happens. What? Oh man, I gotta do that. Uh. Well, they made me explode, but very slowly. <laughs> He has the best weapon in the game? No. What? I thought Umbra was the best. Isn't it? No? Oh shit. I do not remember this at all. I'm confusing this with something else. I'm confusing this with... There's a... Um, Daedric set. Um... In <laughs> there's a Daedric set in uh... fuck where is it? Uh, I'm, I'm thinking it's in uh, where is it? Hang on, I'm thinking of Saron. There's like a not a wizard, but like a, an important dude. He's got like Daedric graves and shit, and you could get it from him, but yeah. Alright, where are we going? Uh, oh, sorry. Salty kicks. Okay, try that again. Diva doesn't get pissed off if you, like, do this right. You guys want to see some big brain shit? Ready? Some wizard, huh? Wow, dude. Onalized. Uh... 
you know the crescent blade the crescent blade long blade two hands oh fuck disintegrate armor paralyze oh fuck what the fuck oh my god I for oh my shit Th this weapon is is actually really fucking good uh moon sword and I dance with it too. It's a fucking botleth. I'm gonna keep it. Fuck it. Screw it. Looks like the weapon you had in Harvester. <laughs> Welcome to the lodge. Hey man, guess what? Did I forget something? I sure did. Guess what? I I smacked some ahead, smacked some ass, and now uh, look at me. Alright, tell you what, let's save here, because we already got some shit. But we'll get some Daedric after this, too. But, uh... Yeah, we, we have we have some really overpowered weapons now, and the lore continues. So, uh, yeah. Why... We... Hooray, hurrah! How nice. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little tired, right? But, uh... Okay, cool, we get some really overpowered crap now, so, uh... Yeah! That's what happens. It's the weapon from the box art for Battlespire. What? Hang on. Battlespire box art. Are you serious? Oh shit, you're right. I had no idea. I actually had no idea. They can nab the Daedric set from the wizard. So, wait, I, I remember the amulet. You like took it on and then you... Uh, there's some weird like weird effect where I, I, I'm confusing this with like... Oblivion's expansion pack where you you fuck with Shagworth and he drops you down to your doom. So it's just a amalgamation of of confusedness. So uh, well, there we go. So we did a lot today. We uh, we went into the sixth house secret base. We met the last dwarf and uh, we're fucking around with the wizard. Hopefully it doesn't fuck me. But anyway, <laughs> we're gonna be checking out the art here in a second. I'm not even gonna do a BRB because uh, yeah, I'm 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 really ready to hit the hay. So. Uh, I'm gonna get through this a little quicker than I usually do, but uh, bear in bear in mind. All right, from uh, let's see here. Uh, bim. It's Mr. Lee Buns. It's me and little Joel friend, Varg Boomer and Varg friend says Mr. Lee Buns. <laughs> I don't know what this reminds me of, but I like it a lot. The rest of Liberty Prime from Fallout, but that's pretty good. Friend. From Cookie Deer. Hey, Joel, my brother made a little Vorg Shroom out of a cork, and he wanted to put me in the borer, so here you go. I hope you like it. These photos were, were fun to, because I did dug out my old doll accessories and just played around with them. I had to go outside for some of these, and it got three mosquito bites on the same leg, but hey, it was worth it because I got to see a tiny Joel in a crown. This college kind of collage kind of sucks so individual photos are in the source if you look at them well that's really cool look at that joel with a friend pretend this is Pepsi. you dead <laughs> joel king of the world bruh that's pretty goddamn good out of a cork huh damn that's that's pretty fucking impressive i like that a lot hell yeah great job damn yeah i love that a lot very nice Zug Skelter did this. A sketch of a Vorkshroom turned out pretty great. A sketch of a Vorkshroom turned out pretty great. So I turned him into a Grim Reaper-esque stand. Was drawn on actual paper. Well, I always appreciate that. I like to my... My... Uh, my scythe here says, <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like it, as they say. Sorry, I'm going through art a little quick, bro. Uh, I'm... A little exhausted, but still, I uh, know that my words fail. My sincerity and appreciation of this does not. Uh, from Rose to Fox, here, here, ha ha ha, ha ha ha. Here's Grog, Grog and me in Woodwork Simulator. So, pretty cool. I like that. And cool art style. I like my little little shoes. There's Grog. He knows what's up. <laughs> Thanks. That's really cool. From Jarek. Jarek from Mortal Kombat. Made this Vork Shroom while I was on a school trip. Hope you like it. That's awesome. I, I used to do the same thing when I was in school too. I used to like... I sort of got... The reason I can draw okay-ish is because of boring math class. Because that's all I did to get through those fucking 
sessions just I hated math and I'm like dude I just want to draw some like blood and knives and skulls so a lot of lot of art was getting through me being bored so hey but that's very very cool I like that a lot from Vine List, hey Joel, I just wanted to say that I'm really, really sorry about my last post. It was supposed to be short, but now I look back on it, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> no, I don't, don't worry about it. But anyways, hope you don't hate me too much for it. I deleted it anyways. Oh, okay. Also, this is a shitty sketch I drew at 3 in the morning. I have nothing to post, sorry. Uh, oh, okay. Well, it's pretty good art anyway. <laughs> Thanks. Um, from Mary P. Here we go. Here's a collection of various Varg shrooms various cool styles I don't know which I like the most but they're all really really nice they're very kind of nice got some Varg shrooms from our notebook and a tiny U in the middle messed up the color scheme but I still hope you like it that is, that's awesome it's really really awesome hell yeah yeah I don't know I kind of like the top right one the most I think no I like them all I like them all actually and really, really good take on me, as they say. <laughs> Hell yeah, thank you so much. Metal Matias did this. It's long-haired me. You know how I look like in this picture? Uh, another great YouTuber. Ah! Brutal Moose. I love Brutal Moose. That guy knows what's up. I love his cooking videos when he like eats microwavable pies and stuff like that. Great YouTuber, Brutal Moose. I like him. Because I was recommended Brutal Moose after I did Time With No Name. I'm like, oh, you did, did one too? All right. So, uh, yeah, but Brutal Moose is, is a cool guy. And I it looks like him a little bit in this, so. Yeah, but that's very nice. Metal band. My favorite. <laughs> very nice. So, Splow Shoe. Here is a Vark Shroom and me. It's Doom and Dude. <laughs> what does it say? Joel666. Oh, that's a high price. Ah, uh, buying at a high price. <laughs> cool arch. I like like them shoes. Hell yeah, very nice. I like that 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 overflowing Pepsi too. It's pretty nice. I like that. Hell yeah. <laughs> From uh, which Gmod second upload all done in Gmod on Photoshop. Damn, book took the longest to edit out of the three. Hope you like it. It came out. Yeah, that's awesome. Really, really nice. Actually, for the next intro. Or next uh, Sims 4 stream. Somebody made an like a Friends-esque intro for the sitcom, quote-unquote. And it's pretty damn good. You'll see it. But uh, that looks pretty nice. It's like half redrawn, half G-modded. That's very, very cool. Thank you so much. Damn. I like how Garfield is like smoldering. Puck Spark did this. Badass looking flame spewing... Uh, Vargshroom. I listened to Scythler for the first time. That was awesome. He's inspired me to draw a dramatic Vargshroom piece. I liked it. Oh. Oh, that's awesome, man. Ho hope you like my... My, uh... My silly music. Well, Scythler isn't really silly music. Vargshroom is silly music, but Scythler is more serious, which... More news about that soon, but, uh... I hope you like it. Uh, and I'm glad my, my music and inspired you is marked. Very nice color scheme, as always, with Box Park, but, uh... Hell yeah. Very, very nice, Lovely arch doll. Lovely. Arch. I like. I like the spikes in the tongue too. It's very. Uh, uh, it's very Mario Mercury effect. But here's from It's Your Boy Killa. It's my my game. Is that a Mario Paint Todd? Holy shit! You really nailed him too. You really really nailed him, which is astounding. But yep, you got that convincing smile on him. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, I love him. I love him like a milkshake. Yeah. From uh, Blue Axetol, I hate I hate Wednesdays. Oh, by the way, looking for a game about the Vine Sauce crew. That's all I'm allowed to say. Oh, neat. Well, I sure hope you finish it because let me tell you something. There's a curse of every Vine Sauce game ever made. They get made. They are in development and then they fall apart because it is a lot of work to do them. And it's a lot of time. And it's like, oh boy, we have a great idea. Let's do it. And then suddenly... Oh no, it's boring to make. So, hey, I finished my, well, freak around my, but I, 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 you got me there, but yeah, I'm saying most of them. Like, there's been a lot of Vine Sauce, the RPGs and stuff like, like Short games are fine, but when it's like a longer project, they usually like, they kind of fade out, unfortunately. A lot of fade out, it's like that nobody liked them. It's very much anticipated, but it's more so like, 
you know, people have jobs and school and stuff like that. So it's it's hard to get everything together. But yeah, I, I look forward to it. Please, please commit to the idea because a lot of people, a lot of people, uh, you know, haven't had time to. So yeah, prove them wrong. From Wolfish, here's a little sarcastic Vargshroom. <laughs> I like that. It's not quite Pixar, not not DreamWorks face, but there we go. A little smug, a little smug. <laughs> That's very nice. Cool art style. Me Master 68 did this. It's a Varg Shroom on a splattered wall. Art class, I suppose. Yeah. That's awesome. You really nailed the shroom with the, the teeth. Damn, that looks pretty nice. I like it, you may say. Hell yeah. Very nice. From Raymations. Hey, Joe, this is my first post to the board. I'm very nervous. I hope you like it. Oh, I sure do. Look at me. Look at my rosy little cheeks. Look at my angry little expression. <laughs> but hey, that's pretty cool. Thank you so much. Ayo. I like the little stars and stuff, but uh, that's pretty awesome. Thank you so much. Damn. From Sarah Smiles 512. Ooh, damn. Look at this. Hey, Joe, don't know if you're going to see this, but this is my first post here. Damn. Two in a row. I recently got into your stream saying put them in the background while I draw. Anyways, hope you like it. Well, absolutely. Goddamn. It's like almost, it's like, I thought it was a 3D picture at first, and then it's like, wow, it's actually painted. Really, really, really nice shading, because the, 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 uh, the burnination of the, the flames here is like, ec not echoing, it's, what is it called, it's shining off the skull? The, yeah, that's very awesome shit, damn. Very, I have no, I have no, I don't, I don't know how to paint or anything in like real life, so... This is even more of a mystery to me, how, how well it looks, you know? I, I, like, how would I do this myself? I don't know, just take a bunch of brushes and just go... <laughs> there you go, that's painting. <laughs> no, that's that's really phenomenal work. Awesome job. Really awesome. Pastels. I, 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 don't, I don't even know what that is. But shit, really, really well done. Ghosty did this. So uh, I'm going to have Markstrom enjoy. See, they can be buddies now, look. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I like that. I like the little uh, mini shrooms in the background too. Hell yeah. Very nice. Mr. Bane did this. Here's some vine wrestle art. And, uh, oh, hey, Joel. Enjoy the vine wrestle summer slaughter. So I made this. Drawn on ink. Scan and edited digitally. Thanks always for the laughs and the funny times. Shout out to the mods and simple flips. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The mods don't get enough credit for keeping shitty comments out of chat you know because uh, you know I, I i i i moderate as well when i'm streaming at times but i can't do it all the times and that's when everybody helps out so you know shout outs to leon and anthro and whoever's in chat you know they they do the work that i can't possibly do so they go do, they go do good dude shit so you know but the art is really good here we got mega feet up in the upper right we got large pizza and we got uh, Twitch chat going, Miaga balls. <laughs> hor horrific, but I like it a lot. A straight sure you can right in the chin. <laughs> Very cool, Arshel, as always. From Big Papa Jeremy, Joel says, Stay hydrated. Make sure you've eaten a proper meal today. Take your meds if you need to. And get your recommended amount of sleep. Your health is important. It's Dr. Joel, everybody. And he also says, drink all the shampoo in the house. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Doodle let Joel to cheer me up while I wasn't in the right headspace. Decided to line and color it. Add a bit of self-care stuff. It's cheesy. Yeah, but he just wanted to make a few people happy. Love this community. Honestly, I should probably listen to my own advice because I'm a dumb, dumb head. Have a good day and night, everyone. Yeah, I try to give a little wholesome tips at the end of every stream. You know, the Joel tips. They aren't always like... Well, I was going to say, they aren't always sincere. They are always sincere, but sometimes they're a little jokey. Sometimes they are more serious, but, you know. Um, yeah, absolutely. You should take care of yourself, and uh, you should never stay up and watch my streams when it's um, sacrificial to your health. You know, like some people stay up way too late to watch my streams. Like, that's what the fucking YouTube channel is for, you know, if you want to catch it later. But uh, I, I get it that it's fun to watch live and comment and uh you know lie to me when i need gameplay advice <laughs> uh but uh you know hey it is what it is and i get it it's part of the experience to catch stuff live but you know and i also got myself to blame because my youtube uploads are slow but yeah um you know but 
Yeah. There's also VOD. You can check the VOD where, you know, people chat on the chat. So, you know, you can catch that. But, yeah, I, I like that. Thanks, you. Thanks, you. I like on my Pepsi chat. Pepsi can says, fuck. Very nice. Thank you. From Oba, it's been a while since I posted anything on the board. Your streams give me the will to continue drawing. I really thank you for that. Love you, Joel. By the way, those are the bootlegs. Those are bootleg Fallout plasma guns. Don't ask why I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, that's really nice. That's really, really nice. I like that. I like there's a little mini shroom growing on top. Multi shrooms. <laughs> that's really cool. Thank you so much. I'm glad my dumb streams can uh, entertain and... Uh, Make you inspired to do art. Hell yeah, dude. From uh, stupid guy 525 fucking boomer. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, Morrowind was a good game. A little Jobo for Joel and a tiny favor. Can you look up Yoda CBT on YouTube? I can, but I won't. I know what it is, but I won't. You can do that. Don't worry. Crush my cock with a rock, I must. Here I go. Ah! <laughs> See, I did what the video is basically about. And finally, chai the tea. Here's me and my boomer juice. Ooh, uh, we got a new emote, by the way, on Franker Face. It's the Varg. Ooh, uh, I don't even know what th this really, like, means in terms of a emote. I used to thought it was funny, so I, like, put it in, I guess. So, <laughs> all right. Anyway, that's the art for tonight, and that's all the, the stream for tonight. I hope you all enjoyed Morrowind and uh, the Spelunky stuff. It was a lot of fun. I will catch you guys tomorrow with more stuff. We have an FME Friday on Friday and other cool stuff, and maybe I can do that special thing I was talking about. So, yeah. Anyway, vinesauce.com, twitch.tv, slash team, slash vinesauce for the rest of the streamers. Currently, uh, the website isn't working too well, so I got to check my Twitch follow list. Hang on. Uh, Vinny's playing Ion Fury and Dragon Quest. And uh, who else is streaming? Uh, Fred. I'm going to host Fred because he's streaming World of Warcraft. Tip of the day for me is uh, 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 here's a little thing that I recommend you download. Download a client or a program called Chat the Reno because that's what I've been using tonight to look at chat. It combines Franker Face TV and uh, all those extra external uh, external things. And it allows you to be in multiple chat rooms at once. It's really just handy, and it, you can chat from the desktop instead of in the browser. I like it. Uh, you might check it out. You might like it too. It's very customizable and yeah, a little cool stuff. But Chat Arino, check it out. Uh, I've been using it tonight. Chat Arino. So yeah, there you go. Anyway, enjoy, Fred. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I'll see you soon. And as always, brush your teeth. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>